Hello, everybody! Hello, my name is Paul. Welcome, one and all. We're continuing our Hero U adventures into the combat, the combat prototype of Hero U. This is coming right on the coattails of the sneaking mission that we just did. So this is going to show you what it's going to be like to explore uh, the combat, uh, the turn-based Diablo-esque kind of thing. And there's a little... I guess this part over here is not quite finished yet, so you can kind of draw with your mouths, which I've been doing. I said hi to everybody. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hi. Okay, let's go. Let's get right into it. If you don't know the background of everything about Hero U, go check out the first video, which will be in the link below. But in a nutshell, this is a spiritual successor to the Quest for Glory series made by Lori and Corey Cole, which was kickstarted successfully, and I'm a part of it. So I'm allowed to get a hold of these little uh, demonstrations and demonstra- uh, uh, those things. Yeah, prototypes. That's what I'm talking about. So I get to see all the various different builds, which are still now available on the Hero U website. So if you want to check these out, you don't need to be a backer. Go out and check it out. Uh, and we also decided that in the first one, that while uh, uh, Sean O'Connor, who is the hero here, is not a uh, direct descendant of Sneaky Feet, we'll say sometime in the future, he's, he's like 10% Sneaky Feet. He's learned how to speak in more than one syllable, but... Uh, Joe claims that there's an old treasure chest hidden in the wine cellar and there's some sort of guardian protecting it. All I have to do is find that chest and I'll be rich. I don't even, if I don't find the big treasure, I'm sure I can collect a few monster parts. Gregor at the store says he'll, bring a, he'll pay a bounty for any I bring him. Okay, all right, so watch the catch. Now there's a fortune hidden away in the depths of a haunted castle that's been deserted for years. It can't be too hard to find, can it? I just have to be very, very careful. Some of these monsters probably have really sharp teeth and claws. Let's not forget the claws. Um, right, treasure. Okay, here we go. This is an introduction and development test of the exploration and combat features of Hero U. Click on the candle icon to see, uh, oh, we don't have a candle icon yet. All right, oh good, okay, so dagger icon, lets you leave and enter combat mode, special actions, potions and traps, and there we go. Okay, so this is sort of a, a more finished version of the menu that we saw in the sneaking mission. So not only do we got the, in the journal and everything, but we also, in the inventory, but we also have this cool uh, character menu. We get a closer look at Sean Tiger, Sneaky Feet O'Connor. So maybe we can actually kind of change this. So here's our stats, agility, charm, fitness, luck, magic, moxie, perception, and smart. So I have a reputation of being a good boy. So skills. Looks like only the uh, thiefy skills need apply, so strength and all that's not actually in here, nor vitality. So it's climbing, combat, defense, lockpicking, spot, which I guess is kind of like perception in a way. How far away you can see enemies, stealth, and throwing, which is great. So we all we have right now is a dagger and not a way to get out of this menu. There we go. And inventory, we have nothing. So what I've learned, because I recently watched a little mini Let's Play that Lori and Corey Cole themselves did to kind of show off the game. And it's been a while since I played this build, so things may have changed since then. So I got to learn a couple of secrets. So let's see what I remember. Now what I do know is that everything that you learned in the sneaking mission holds true here. So it's right click to check things out, left click to actually interact with things. Uh, let's see, we can take a candle. You not take a candle! Did I really hear that? I better, I better, I better leave these candles where they are. Okay, I think that's all in your head. I don't know why it says I can't take the candle. May, that might be a reference to something. I don't know. Okay, so we can take these wine bottles, though. And they become sort of impromptu uh, throwing weapons. But there's nothing on there. Sometimes you can find uh, some healing potions or something. And then you also want to take out these drat nests, which I think are, are short for uh, a contraction of Dire rat, I believe. Let's see if we can find. Uh, something has made itself a nest between the barrels. Something's useful in there. Let's take a closer look. A healing potion. Excellent. But I still can't look at my inventory when I'm not in combat, which is weird. But I can start combat whenever I want. So this is my circle of influence. So you move around. And then you have, uh, you can use your items. You can range. Uh, which I have an empty wine bottles and two throwing daggers. Now, what I like about the throwing system is that when you throw daggers or use traps or what have you, it's not just a one use and they're gone. And, and you can usually go back and pick them up if you want to, but it's automatic. When when combat's over, they just sort of zip back into your inventory. Zip! And then you're done. So you're not going to worry about it at all. So you can defend and then attack. So it's great. I love turn-based combat. It makes it makes things a bit more strategic for me. And there's our first dire rat. Dreads! 
Why does it always have to be a dreads? Perfect. So now I can show you. I am. I might be able to weaken this one before I can get to me with a steady aim and a little bit of luck. I was say you can click on an enemy's ranged weapon on the combat bar to throw something at your opponent. All right. So let's enter combat. I can't see him from here, but let's see if this works because there's near infinite supply of empty bottles, I think. So ranged weapon, empty wine bottle. Doesn't do anything. Okay. So I need to select the drat first. There he is. Entering combat. Select the drat. So he's glowing yellow. And badoom. There we go. Oh, I missed. Oh, lame. And there he is right up on me. So you can use any uh, any combination of things to take up your turn. So you can either move into a different position. And I'm not sure if side attacks or back attacks do anything more than front attacks. That might be something to look up later. Or you can take an action. But now that you know ranged weapons are fairly useless, we're just going to slash the hell out of them and hope for the best. There we go, and his health went down a little bit, as did mine, but I seem to be a little bit stronger than he. That was a critical hit. Viciously attacks, and that should do it. And combat done, happy dance. Check out the running man on Sean Sneaky Feet O'Connor. Well done. It's kind of good to see uh, our character with red hair instead of blonde hair like we're accustomed to. And yes, we can loot him. Anything? Some drat parts, okay, good, so we can use that we can sell that later and later being much later when the game actually comes out let's run for a while that's sneak okay so okay for I thought it was a toggle I like as you're running like your momentum gets away from me watch him like do this little Flintstones turn <laughs> love it all right drats nuts what do you have for me anything fancy flambe time to roast them and toast them a flambe is basically a Molotov cocktail, I believe. Yeah, so a grenade can be thrown as a distance. Yada, yada, yada. Good. So, this game also really rewards you for taking your time and being a little bit more strategic and uh, with your actions. All right, so, oh, I got my wine bottle back. Interesting. I thought that, I thought it shattered. Oh, uh, well, whatever. So, let's use a throwing dagger and see how much more that does. Actually, we didn't get to see how much the wine bottle did because I missed. <laughs> There we go. Actually, it takes off a pretty fair whack of health. That's not too bad. So, stabby, stabby. Oh, good. He missed. And I missed as well. He takes his waste time moving. Uh, let's see. Uh, it doesn't really say how much damage I do to him, so I'm not going to try moving around the back to see if that does any more. I'm just going to go ahead and kill it. There it goes. And just, like, flop over. There's not really an animation there yet. All right, and dire rat. What do you have for me? Some drat parts. Lovely. I would love a healing potion right about now, Funk Soul Brother. But I... nay, I'm running a little bit lower on health than I would want, but I have no choice. I think I'll be fine. Slice. Uh oh. Okay, good. All right, zero sum game there. Beautiful. Good miss. My agility must be through the roof. Yep, sorry, Dire Rat. You can try it from all angles, but your ass is grass. Oh, can I get to him from down there? Oh, I think he might be hidden behind this wall, and I can't get him. Di Dead Drat. There we go. I got him. There's probably not going to be anything on him besides, of course, Drat parts. Drat. Okay. So that's sneak, and that's run. Anything? Stack of barrels? Please tell me there's something good, something on top of them. Hey, an unset spring-loaded trap designed to catch rodents of unusual size. It's just what I've always wanted. You try, try, oh, try using the spring trap to disable opponent for a few rounds. You'll be able to retrieve it at the end of combat. Wonderful, useful stuff. Again, not just a one-time use thing. You can use it as much as you want. Which, to me, because the way I play role-playing games, and it's probably just a bad habit, is... I'm going to sneak. Oh, now I'm going to run. That's what that button does. Uh, I tend to hold on to all of my like healing potions and traps until I think I'm really going to need them and then I end up ending the game with a gigantic collection of stuff I'll never ever use because I was too chicken to use them when I actually could use it. Oh, there's two rats in here. Okay. Oh, there's three of them in here. This is not good. So I'm going to actually beat a rather hasty retreat until I can find some healing potions because I am in no condition to take on, take on three of them. So we'll come back later. So I'm a bit stuck here because I can't pick the lock because I don't have any lock picking tools. So progression is 
fairly limited, and I don't have access to an inventory. All right, so that's my next mission. I've got to find... Well, first of all, I need a healing potion, because I'm about to die. Well, actually, no, I'm a little bit above half health. I might be okay, but I just want to double check to make sure I didn't miss anything. Let's see if I can sneak over here to this pile of rotting garbage before they see me. Maybe there'll be a healing potion in there. Come on, let there be a healing potion. Lock picks. Oh, good, we got lock picks. Oh, good, we don't have to worry about this at all. So there's our lock picks. So, uh, sorry, Dretz. Yeah, I'll see you guys later when I have a healing potion. And then we can play, I promise. Now we can pick the lock on this door and move forward. Huzzah! Oh, and just like every other game, you gotta grind your skills. There we go. Oh, my lock picking increased. Got it. There we go. Done. Beautiful. Alright, anything to look at? There's a door. Doors are nice. A wine rack. Beautiful. I don't need any more bottles, but let's see if there's a health potion hidden there. Please tell me there is. Uh, five of these bottles are suitable for flying. Okay, so there's two more bottles left I can throw there and five bottles here. But... No healing potions, unfortunately. All right, so here's a wine press. Look for traps, of course, even though there's probably nothing. No traps, never is. Pick the lock. A special key. Ooh, so maybe this is our final destination. Good, we'll keep coming back to that. Ah, one of these bottles is not like the others. A healing potion. Fan dabby dabby this. Okay, good. I have my first healing potion. That'll make life a lot easier. But before we go back and deal with those three, because I'm not even sure that's a required battle, let's let's press forward. Okay. Now I think every single lock is has its own specific level, so you do have to kind of spam a little bit. There we go. Okay, let's. Uh oh. Oh, good. One of these drats is bigger and meaner than the others I've seen. All right, good. So this is like our first mini boss battle, I guess. And if there were music in this game right now, I'm sure it would be thumping. Uh, anything in the... Yeah. Oh, good. Another flambe. Beautiful. Okay. So let's sneak up. Now I can show you how this trap works. This is great. So let's... Let's concentrate on the big one. So let's... Warrior Drat. Okay. So we'll use... Item. There's the trap. I have three healing potions. Oh, I didn't know I had healing potions already. I feel like a dope. All right. Well, there you go. You have your trap. Right, and then we'll concentrate on this dire rat. Kill him first. And let's use our dagger on him. Let's go. Oh, oh, interesting. So I got, I have one wine bottle. So the one I threw and broke, but I got it back. But the one I use and hits, then I lose it. Interesting. All right, well, throwing dagger it is, because I want to get him out of the way as quickly as possible. Good. All right. Oh, he's not coming at all. Interesting. Kill. Oh, there he comes. And into the trap with you. Good. I don't think it does any damage, but it keeps him stunned for a couple of turns. Which is extremely helpful. Alright, this is not going to plan. I'm missing everything. This is awful. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna do one more attack, please. Damn it! Why? Alright, at least they're missing a lot too. Ouch. Alright, well, I got no choice. Gotta use another healing... No, I'm not gonna use it yet. Damn it! Oh no, this is awful. This is awful indeed. This is not how I want to show you this game. I want to do it really well. <laughs> I'm just going to use a ranged weapon on him because he's right there and he's going to kill me if I don't. There we go. Down he goes. And Warrior Drat, you are getting the flambe. I'm not messing around with you right now. Beautiful. Ooh, that's a really pretty explosion. There we go. I'm not having any trouble hitting you. Wonderful. And I like this little text crawl down here. A little bit more, like kind of... Kind of D&D. It's kind of old school. I like it. Excellent. Nope, he's not dead yet. Not dead yet. Now you're dead. Oh, yeah. What is that little dance? That little hover dance. All right. Retrieve your daggers. And I retrieved my traps. That's wonderful. Now, I have to use two healing potions for that one. I really hope I can find some more. This place has got to be lousy with them. Look at all the bottles here. What have we here? Another healing potion. That's exactly what I needed. Now, I'm tempted to go back the other way and then fight those other drats, but I don't really see the need for it. All right, any traps? There are no traps. Open. 
I don't think there's anything in this room, but I'm still going to be really cautious because I don't want to alert anything earlier than I have to. It's the good thiefy way. All right. Uh, to do find something cool. Um, that sounds like a computer command. To do colon find something cool. So execute command find cool thing. Oh, I think that actually is what it is. I think it was an unfinished text box. To do find something cool. Oh, that's, that, that's their actual to-do list. Oh my god, they gotta put in what I found. Oh, that's amazing. Let's see if I can actually find out what I did find. Let's go into combat. Let's see. Use item. Um, I have actually found nothing. There's nothing there. Okay. Well, end combat. Well, that was, that was cute. I liked it. Wooden crate. What have we here? Let's see. Uh, they use a nice looking leather vest to pad these bottles. Maybe they gave me some protection against these monsters. Excellent. So now I have a leather vest. Beautiful. And a really nice looking leather vest it is. That's really pretty. It doesn't change my appearance. Not yet anyway. So maybe it will later. And oh my agility and the charm has gone up. Uh, defense has gone way up. Lock picking went up from 11 to 16. Wonderful. I just love stats. I love them. That's why I can't wait for the whole game, because I just, I love, I love just seeing progress. I love it. Okay, so, uh, oh, let's get rid of that. Any more health potions over here? Nothing that I see. Oh, and my first trap. Oh, whoa, there's a trap. I should disarm it before continuing any further. Otherwise, who knows what I might do? Well, and disarming is pretty easy. You literally just hit disarm trap, and you're done. Nice work, me. Pick the lock. And we got it first try, and our lockpicking skills went up, and done. Alright, now I think in this room I need to be a little careful. He says as he runs completely. Oh no, that doesn't look like a drat! Alright, there's a scary thing in here. But, is there anything else I can look at? There's a candle holder that does nothing. No, it has to be sneaky. Anything over here? No. Anything over here? Don't mind me, Mr. Praying Mantis thing. All right, I can sneak right over to his pile before I even have to fight him. How wonderful. Though I think that is a required battle because he has something I need. Uh, oh boy, a big boom. Who knows how long this has been here. They wouldn't have anything left of those barrels if this has gone off. Big boom is like a gigantic grenade, which will come in very handy later, I promise. A couple healing potions here too. Wonderful, that's exactly what I need. All right, so let's get into position to fight this guy. Okay, select him, use our trap. Um, and then, throwing dagger. Whoop. Come on over. Oh, I missed. Oh, lo oh, you can't reach me, can ya? Oh, that's a shame. Whoa. All right, here he comes. He's up and away. Let's hope he doesn't do too much damage. He looks mean. He, oh, that's very mean. Okay, so healing potion. I got plenty. Nothing to worry about as I chug it through my ear. Two more hits should take him down. Or one as he flips over like a little bug. Okay, all my daggers and traps go back to me. And what does he have that I want? I hear that some approach parts are usable in lots of ways. I might just take some. So what you're saying is that you approach the approach and poach the approach. Sorry. Hey, what's this? Brooches are supposed to like shiny things, but this one is wearing a key like a necklace. The key felt tingly when I picked it up. Maybe it's magical. Good. All right, so now we have a magic key, all the health potions I could ever want, a big boom, all kinds of fancy stuff. Okay, now a mysterious door. I'm a little concerned about this mysterious door, but an adventurer cannot say no to a mysterious door. It's in our contract. There's something big and scary through this door, but I'm not going to let that stop me. Uh, second thought, yes, I will. Whatever's on the other side of this door, I am not ready for it. I bet I missed a door or something earlier. I'm not going out until I've explored everything in this cellar. I think that's just their way of saying, uh, look, we haven't actually programmed that in yet. So if you could just stick to the cellar, stick to the, uh, the lakes and rivers that you're used to and don't go chasing waterfalls, that would be great. And before I go in through the final door, which I think is the end boss, I just want to go ahead and get rid of these three drats out of the way because I just, uh, I would feel like I was a miss if I didn't kill everything. Because Lori and Cory found this awesome ring that ups your agility, which I really want. I haven't found it yet, so I think it must be in here. 
All right, so let's start from the beginning. These are all just regular dire rats, no big deal. I'm going to trap you. There we go. And then you get a, oh, the flambe was there all the time. Oh, it was in my throwing weapons. Well, uh, might as well singe your fur. Oh, and dead him. That was it. That was battle. All right, good. That guy didn't see me at all. Wonderful, that seems like a really good tactic. So I'm not gonna move, so I want this tra guy's trajectory to remain exactly the same, and eat throwing dagger wench. There we go, and into the trap you go. It seems like kind of a waste of a trap. If uh, the other guy's not here, there he is, okay. So I'll concentrate on this guy while he's stunned. Perfect timing, so I can take them all both at, uh, at, at single, single file. Yeah, that's it, that's the ticket. All right, one more hit ought to do it. And kaboom. Excellent, running man, you know how to party. Now let's get all the drat parts, even though I don't have any use for them. But I still, you know, I'm an adventurer, it's what I do, it's in my goddamn adventurer's DNA. And there's a large kiln down here, which is weird because this is a wine cellar. I don't know what they would actually need to bake clay for, but it's very pretty. There are a bunch of different sections through this kiln. It must have been used back in the day to make all those wine bottles. Oh, I guess you can use a kiln for making glass. That makes perfect sense, not just clay. I was really close-minded. Hey, 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 it looks like there's an old ring left here amongst the ashes. Finders keepers. Sean equips Daring, or Daring, depending on how you want to pronounce it. And there it is, Daring. Looks like a little... Oh, wow. Okay, the perspective makes it really weird. It's like, I can't tell where it begins or ends. Oh, that's, wow, that's, wow, my perspectives. It's the ring, all right. Rebrewing this improves your agility. Excellent. So agility now is 22. I can't take it off. Uh, nothing I can do. All right, well, it's there. That's good. So it's 22 now, so probably brought it up by either 5 or 10. I'm not sure which. All right, so with that... We already looked at the pile of rotting garbage. I think we are done. We can actually go fight the uh, the final boss who's guarding the little treasure chest. We came down here to, uh, for beginners. I speak good. All right, and with that magical door opened, or that magical key door opened, as it were, we are ready to progress into end game, I think. Uh, let's see, anything I can see? Let's go into sneak mode, shall we? Just in case. Yeah, there he is. How you doing there, buddy? A treasure chest, right? I am so good. That guardian can't be all that tough, right? Yeah, because he's wearing bronze goddamn armor and a gigantic spear. I'm sure he's nothing to worry about, Connor. But he can wait. Let's see what this wine press is all about. Uh, look inside of it. Uh, with the handle stuck, there's no way to get it open. I don't notice any vinegar smell, so someone must have cleaned the press after its last use. All right, so there's nothing you can do with it. You can't turn it, you can't stuck it. It's just there. Okay, so let's move into position. I, I keep forgetting, I keep mixing up the stealth button and the run. That's probably going to get me into trouble at some point. Okay, so let's select him. Use item. A trap. Put this out there, just in case the big boom doesn't work all the way. And the big boom is not a thrown weapon, but you actually scoot it out just like a trap. So I'm actually going to put that on top of the trap. There we go. Beautiful, look at that. Big comic size, real boom, bomb, bomb, bomb. All right, I'm gonna use a health potion before things get too hairy, just in case. It's not like I need to save them for anything. There we go, now we're ready. So let's throw a dagger at him and see if our cunning plan works. Come get me. There's nothing there. Oh, he didn't make it yet. He is very slow. Sean has become aware of Skeletal Warrior's presence and slowly shambles forward. Oh, uh, all right, well, whatever. I think it's supposed to be the other way around. I think Skeletal Warrior is supposed to become aware of my presence and then he slowly shambles forward because I'm not shambling anywhere. I refuse. Take that. Oh, yeah. Oh, beautiful. Almost dead. Almost completely and utterly dead. Slowed by the trap. Excellent. So I think one more good attack should do it. And down he goes. Yes. Sorry, Mr. Dead Skeletal Warrior. He's got to have something good. Can I take his armor? Damn bones, damn bones, damn dry bones. Day it weren't nothing to me. I don't know how the song goes. That's probably not it. All right. We've made it. There it is. We've made it to our treasure chest. 
There's nothing else here. Look at me looking for other things, even though there's like a massive treasure chest like right there. Let's look what we have here. All right. Examine. It's locked. Like I was expecting something else. All right, we can pick the lock, but why pick a lock when you have a magical goddamn key? I might ask. Oh, he is exactly the same thing. One quick twist and... Yeah, look at that shit-eating grin on Sean O'Connor. Look at that. Beautiful. Even though that chest is only a fraction of the size it actually was, and those wine presses seem a lot smaller, perspective's a little bit weird, but Connor seems a happy and rich man. That'll pay at least a couple of weeks to tuition at Hero U. Sean was clever and found the treasure. Now his dreams can come true. He won't be rash. He'll take some of his cash and use it to back Hero Yo. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Actually, well, you can't right now because the Kickstarter is closed, but they've done two, so maybe there'll be another one that you can actually put your put your money into and put your money where your mouth is. And that's it. Will Sean be a thief or a hero? It's up to you. That's it, guys. That is both demonstrations of Hero U. So if this is to be trusted, this should be coming out in early 2016, and right now it's about as early 2016 as you can get. It's, uh, what, January 10th or 11th? I don't even know what goddamn day it is. It's been so busy around here. But for now, look forward to this game. Check out Quest for Glory. Go to hero-u.com. There'll be a link in the description. Just go check it out. And for now, good night, Jelly Beans. Good night.